What happens when you execute a prisoner? Two things happen. You can potentially lose honor, and of course, you lose relation with other clans. How much relation, and with whom, is what several people have asked me about. Let me quickly discuss the potential honor loss for the relation loss. If a lord's honor is zero or greater, so neutral or honorable, and you execute him, you'll lose honor, a lot of honor. The amount is higher than any other trait gains or losses that I found. However, if the lord has negative honor, you will only lose relation. One note, only the player will lose relation for executing a lord. The NPC lords won't lose relation with each other for executing each other. Does that seem fair? Or does it really matter? Let me know in the comments. So how much and with whom? The game will look through a list of all the clans. It first looks at three criteria to see if anyone cares about losing relation. If the clan is eliminated, no one cares. If the clan is one of the bandit factions, yes, the game treats them like clans, then no one cares. And if the clan is the player's clan, no one cares. So if it's the player's clan, a bandit faction, or an eliminated clan, then no relation is lost with them, and we continue on with the next clan in the list. The game uses two people and compares how they are related and uses that to determine how much relation is lost between your clan and the current clan in the list. These two people are the executed lord, or the victim, and the current clan's leader. The game checks to see if the clan leader is not the player or the victim. If it's either of those, it skips the relation loss and moves on to the next clan in the list. This point is interesting to me. If you execute a clan's leader, you will not lose relation with that clan. I wonder if this is intentional or an oversight. If neither is true, we look at the victim's honor again. If the victim has negative honor, the relation loss is less. The other clans care less about the situation. In fact, they care half as much as we'll see. Let's look at a victim with negative honor first. If the clan leader of the current clan in the list is in the same clan as the victim, you will lose 30 relation with that clan. If the clan leader and the victim are friends, you will lose 15 relation with that clan. If the clan leader and the victim are in the same faction, you will lose 5 relation with that clan. Now let's look at an honorable victim, someone the other lords must have respected. If the clan leader and the victim are in the same clan, you will lose 60 relation with that clan. If the clan leader and the victim are friends, you will lose 30 relation. If the clan leader and the victim are in the same faction, you will lose 10 relation with that clan. And one extra one. If the clan leader himself is honorable and the victim is not in a rebel clan, you will lose 10 relation with that clan. So all clans that are not the victim's clan, his friend's clans, or his faction's clans you will lose 10 relation with them if that clan's leader and the victim are both honorable. Okay, let's do some in-game demonstration. First, we'll focus on the honor trait change, or lack of change, for the main character. We'll execute only honorable lords to start and count how many it takes to change our honor trait. Note, during the character build, I chose the option of you treated people well, which gave me a plus one honor trait. If you chose a different option, this will be different for you. I found some qualified candidates for victimhood. We'll circle back to the relation loss logs later. After executing one lord with a positive honor trait, we lost our positive honor trait and are now neutral. After executing one more lord, we are now devious minus one. And if we kill three more, we will be devious minus two. So five lords will destroy our honorable reputation. And by destroy, I mean nearly impossible to recover from. The personality traits like honor use an XP scale to determine your level. Here's the scale and the levels. Negative 4,000 XP or less is level negative two. Negative 3999 to negative 1,000 XP is level negative one. Negative 999 to positive 999 is level 0. 1000 to 3999 is level 1, and 4000 or more is level 2. 
The best way to gain Honor XP is successfully completing several different types of quests, but you would have to complete 61 or more of them just to be neutral, and another 39 to get back the Honor plus one you started with. And that's with the quests that give the highest amount of Honor XP. There are several other quests that give less XP and would more than double the successful quests needed to well over 200. So maybe not impossible then, just very time consuming, and you may have to dedicate an entire playthrough just to recover your honor. Sounds like the makings of a 100 day challenge. Did you find any of those results interesting? Now let's reload the save and test only executing dishonorable lords. Again, I looked up my prisoners and found several devious lords. Notice when I execute him, I don't lose the honor trait. Uh, this looks like a bug. The code clearly shows the intent was not to lose honor for executing a devious lord. After debugging this, it appears that the traits of the dead hero are removed. In this call, the traits are null and will always be null. So the method call from here will always return zero. So this condition will always return true. And the next method call to on lord executed will always be called, whether the lord has positive or negative honor which means you will always get hit with the negative XP to your honor. Earlier I mentioned that honor plays a role in how much relation is lost too, so that check will be wrong as well. Looking at the execution scene here, we can see that a similar call is made to give you what should happen, and this is correct information, but the Lord is still alive at this point. Once you click that button, the Lord is dead, and the traits are lost, and all of the code that runs after this is broken because of that. All the relation loss logs that appear are wrong, or at least not as intended. This is a bug. The intention is clear, that negative honor victims should not result in a penalty to the player's honor. It looks like the hero.ondeath method is the culprit. It's likely the intent of this new method is to improve performance and not have a bunch of unused data floating around. So the call to make dead, which in turn calls on death and deletes the traits is the issue. Then four lines later, you're trying to use the traits that you just deleted. This is also why the get traits level method added a new guard to check for null, because it appeared to one of the devs that sometimes the value can be null when in fact, it's null every time. I'll proceed with the rest of this information as if Tail Worlds will fix this bug with honoring the original intention of the logic. That way the information will be accurate once they fix it. In fact, I tested an old version of the game, 1.1.6, and this is working as expected. It was broken in 1.2.0. Now we'll move on to relation loss. Here are all of the notifications for executing Obron, who has negative honor. The order in which I explained the relation loss earlier is important. The relation loss doesn't stack if, let's say, the clan leader and the victim are in the same clan and friends and in the same faction. You won't lose 50 or 100 relation, just the first one that triggers from that order, clan, friend, faction. In this example, it would be 30 for being in the same clan. Since Lord can only be in one clan at a time, you will only lose 30 relation with one clan for this one execution. You can see this Lord has eight friends. Those friends are in seven different clans, but I lost 15 relation with only two of those clans and five others not on this list. Why is that? In the check to see if the clan leader and the victim are friends, it checks the relation between the two. If the relation is higher than 10, this check considers them friends and moves on. The friends section of the encyclopedia gets its data from somewhere else. So you can't reliably use the friends section of the encyclopedia to determine if this check considers them friends. How confusing. This should be cleaned up and or refactored so both use the same data. Nowhere does the game show you the relation between two other lords, only the relation between the player and other lords. 
So having this encyclopedia section accurately displaying friends for the Lord and using the same data for the execution check would be ideal. We can only hope that this gets updated in the future. The remainder of the lost relation is from the members of the victim's faction. Now let's look at the relation loss for a neutral or honorable or Here we'll not only lose more relation with clans, but we'll lose relation with more clans. Again, the victim can only belong to one clan, so we'll only lose 60 relation with his clan. Unless he's the clan leader, then we lose nothing. We'll lose 30 relation with all of his friend's clans, if his friend is a clan leader. And this uses that different logic than the encyclopedia. So you won't get help with understanding who you will lose with by looking at the encyclopedia. And lastly, you'll lose 10 with the rest of his faction's clans, and 10 with all clan leaders that have positive honor. Not neutral, only plus one or plus two. And this includes minor factions clans that have leaders with positive honor. So there is a best case scenario and a worst case scenario. Best case being executing a devious lord and losing no honor and less relation. But the worst case is the result of every execution in 1.2.7 with that bug present. Hopefully Tail Worlds will fix this in an upcoming patch and restore the logic to work as it did in 1.1.6. That's it. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, execute that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, execute that button. Here are two other videos you may like. Thanks for watching. Peace out.